Aries, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with the Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do uh, your unfinished business reading. So this will be somebody that you don't know where you stand with this person. Maybe you didn't get clarity in a situation or you're feeling somebody is being distant or there's no contact. Uh, a lot of different scenarios here but this is not a new love reading so please know this will be somebody that you know that you just feel like things are unfinished between the two of you so with that let's get started i also want to mention that there will be an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments in the extended i will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading and i'll dive deeper into the person you are connecting with so with that well, let's see what the energy is here for you aries and this person you have unfinished business with i'll pull some oracles we'll pull the tarot we'll clarify what is needed and then we will get some messages from your person, what they want to say or what they're thinking. Okay, I'm definitely getting a distance energy here between you and this person. It can also tell me that this whoever you are dealing with, emotionally, their energy is blocked. Okay, so either this is somebody who I feel you are not talking to, there may be a timeout. Or this is somebody who is being emotionally distant with you. I'm also seeing here you do have the 5D, you have dream messages. So I do feel like you and this person may both be having some really intense dreams right now about each other. Okay, or it could be around the situation at hand. But it's also a card of signs and synchronicities. So you may be questioning why you're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities at this time, or it can be also too, like you know that you're seeing these signs and synchronicities because this person is thinking about you. And this person may be also be seeing signs and synchronicities. Okay, there's that that telepathy the two of you have it's a strong spiritual connection you also have uh, chemistry here okay this is two of cups energy so it definitely shows me here that both of you definitely have feelings for each other you care about each other a lot deeply here and also very drawn to each other okay and i also see this card as also a very strong spiritual connection okay you have inner child Okay, I feel like through this connection, both of you have, as a result of the things that have happened in here, both of you have learned a lot about each other. For some of you, that there could even be some healing, right? Some things that you realize about your past or when you grew up, things that happened. And, you know, it's almost that energy like you're trying to make sense of it all, all right? So let's uh, see what the tarot has to say. And I'm sorry if you hear some background noise. I am hearing a gardener in the neighbor's yard. Okay, let's see what the tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with the collective? What else does the collective need to know about this unfinished business between them and this person? All right, okay, I must have my deck. Some cards upside down here. I'm picking up an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'm also picking up a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm, interesting. You got three kings here that definitely shows me that this person is taking some sort of action towards you. I almost feel like distance has been good with this person because I almost feel like they're coming back stronger Stronger is what I'm seeing here. You do have the star card, strong Aquarius energy. I feel like there's still hope in this connection, but let's go through this. 
So you have the Knight of Pentacles and you also have here the King of Cups, okay? I feel like this person has been doing a lot of reflecting, okay, with that inner child energy. This is someone that you're dealing with with that inner child who has certain learned behaviors that they've had from childhood. And I feel like this is someone who is realizing that now. With the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups, it definitely shows me here there's something they want to say or they want to express to you. So I'm going to clarify this King of Cups. I think I'm going to use this deck. What does this person want to say or express to Aries? What does this person want to say or express to Aries? Just being you, near you is intoxicating. I can't stop thinking about you. See, this is someone I feel like these are things that they keep inside. I, don't, I feel like this person does not uh, share a whole lot. Yeah, see, I couldn't let you get close to me. And bottom of the deck here, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. See, this, this person, like I said, distance has been good with this person because it's really given this person time to reflect on things. Like I said, they're also seeing signs, synchronicities, and they're having dreams about you. This uh, dream messages is also their spirit guides trying to help them in the situation. So what I'm sensing here, and you may be getting that as well from your guides too, to help you through this situation. Okay, I really get kind of a distant energy between you and this person. You have the Five of Cups and you have the King of Swords. See, there's, there's regret. There's sadness here with the Five of Cups. Somebody is feeling here like they made some wrong choices. Okay, I'm going to read it as your person, but you can take the roles how they resonate. King of Swords, okay? Maybe something I need to be honest with or I'm seeing the truth is that's what I'm getting here. I'm really seeing that, I, that I'm that i hearing I miss you, I have feelings for you. So let's see why the, um, actually I don't want to use this deck. Let's see why the uh, Five of Cups is here. Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Okay, yeah, look at this, the mirror, and didn't I say it? They're doing a lot of self-reflection. A lot of self-reflection here. I almost feel with this person, their behavior, like I said, is around things they learn from childhood or their inner, their inner wounds. But this person is realizing that. This person is realizing that they're the way they are because of earlier times in their life let's see what else okay yeah so you have blowing kiss this talks about unconditional love so they're realizing that you gave them unconditional love here i'm also feeling like too that this is someone who maybe didn't get a whole lot of affection or unconditional love in their earlier years because king of swords here is someone who's a bit detached and also the king of cups is somebody who does not wear their heart on their sleeve so let's just keep going all right see i feel like through the distance and through uh spirit trying to guide this person look they're going to reach out to you or they're going to express something to you with this page of cups i'm going to clarify let's use this deck let's clarify why is the page of cups here please why is the page of cups here Yeah, look at that, nine of wands. And you also have the wheel of fortune. I don't want to give up here. I feel like I'm hearing, don't give up on me, okay? Page of cups, there's something here. They, they're going to do some sort of gesture, communicate with you, feel it out. Nine of wands also tells me that, again, there's emotional blocks here, okay? But they're going to try and reach out here to change things with this wheel so they don't want to give up on this connection is strongly what i'm feeling here four of wands let's clarify this four of wands tell me more about this four of wands chariot strong cancerian queen of swords three of cups yeah they want union they want things to i'm just gonna say i feel like they want things to pick up from where they left off 
Queen of Swords and the Chariot. Yeah, they're hoping they're hoping that you will be open to communicating with them because the Queen of Swords, she's got her guard up, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy, but she's protective of her heart, but she's open to communicating. She's a good communicator. So I feel like this person's coming towards you. They're hoping that the two of you can communicate, that the two of you can move forward. Like I said, pick up where things left off. I feel like with this four of wands, they, they definitely see the potential of a stable relationship with you. Three, three of cups here. Yep. They want to connect. Look at this. Two of wands here. Planning for the future. I'm going to say here, this is also a reconciliation card for me. You're in communication. So I feel like you're going to hear from this person. And look. Nine of Cups and the King of Pentacles, right? You're definitely going to hear from this person. I feel like they want things to be happy again. Let's see why this King of Pentacles is here. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Page of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Well, strong Taurus energy here. I'm, I'm going to say here, I keep getting energy here. I feel like this is somebody who is optimistic that potentially there could be a relationship here, right? Now, maybe this is somebody in the past that they couldn't commit or they couldn't stay committed. But I feel like, again, I just keep getting this energy that this is someone, the distance has been good with this person. So if you have put distance between you and this person, I feel like it has been good because I feel like it's given this time, person time to really think about things and think about what they want. Now, let's get some messages from your person, what they want to say or what they're thinking, and then I'm going to take it to the extended. That link is in the description box and the comments. What is this person thinking or want to say to Aries? Okay. Interesting. Feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier just to stay in silence. So that's why your person has been silent. They've been dealing with their own emotions. And I feel like, too, this is someone probably who is, is overthinking it as well. It says I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. Yes. So those are the learned behaviors that I talked about. Some of these behaviors this person has been carrying with them since childhood. And I feel like this is somebody who is realizing that and is now leaving that behind. Bottom of the deck here, it says others' opinions. I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. See, again, another energy here of learned behaviors that they have brought with them. You also have here you, your perfection. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I am forever grateful. So I feel like there's still potential here, Aries. I feel like this is someone who needed to kind of uh, realize things on their own. So I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. We're going to see if the communication comes in uh, over the next four weeks. Uh, I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.